Ganoa, question mark, 17 Gaming, all of these still in the thick of the pack. They know they need to have a big games here. One bad game for them means the fact that number one could be off the table for them. Exactly. A lot of teams on the hunt here, and Sonics, as you said, is one of them. Sonics, I really love what we've been seeing from them. It's yeah. not the full aggro, it's not the risk everything to get a couple of kills. They have been playing smart. They've been letting the circles do a lot of the work for them. They've maneuvered in slowly. It's not been the super flashy high kill win, Sonics, but overall, their placements and their end game performances has been so much better than what we've seen in the past. Hey, look, we saw a headshot with a mortar coming out of Sonics. If you need a way to try to make something work, this plane path is going to provide it. Starting off over Valmar, ending up around that Azahar location, so not too crazy. Everybody can pretty much get to anything. We haven't seen anybody go in that Cantera or over into Oasis. I mean, Miramar provides enough for these players to work around without having to go that far to the edge. Yeah, and we also haven't really seen too much commotion in the early game, in particular in the grand finals, so everything should be all right. But you never know. I mean, last day of the tournament, jitters can force crazy things to happen. We've seen it in the past, but uh, we'll wait and see with this plane path coming through if anything happens. I doubt it, but of course, you can never be sure. Down towards where Shrimsy and Hwin are currently positioned. But yep. back towards 4 and we go. As this Here fight comes crashes, come it's going to be 17 Gaming making that push we were talking about just one moment ago. Nade's going to be prepped out. The duo trying to hold strong, getting multiple knocks out of it. Three members, though. See if maybe they can find a pathing around. It's going to see how 17 Gaming can try to navigate this one up. Nate's going to be coming out, but reinforcements now coming in. The other duo, for Sonics, gets on the lead position out away from four angry men who shifted to the east. Yep, trying to wrap around from the southern side is Mime and Tiggleton trying to set all the way around, fully engulfing the teams in between them. Sushu now realizing, I would imagine, that he's getting caught in the open as the peak comes over from the backside. This should have Sonics written all over it. I'm liking the off angle assistance push oh. over the top, but Xiao Wu with a nade that could potentially turn things around. Two members, 17 Gaming, now back to back. They're surrounded by Sonic's members, and they have to make sure that they secure this one. This is still being a problem, as now it is going to be MS that does spot out Tiggleton, taking some shots into his backside. The blue zone death, this is just more a, uh, we're going to take you down with us. Mutually assured destruction strategy coming out from 17 Gaming. They get the shots onto Tig. Only thing they're wanting to do is just drag them back down the leaderboard with them. Exactly. A little worrying for Sonics. Thought they were going to play this one more with uh, moving in with blue, but Tiggleton does get knocked. We'll see if they can get him rest on up. Nope, not going to have any falls down to the blue there. H went down to half HP as well as Master has crept up incredibly close to. 17 will fall in the end. You can see Forrest just slow defending this. They realize we've got everything that we want in this. Let Sonics have to make the aggressive play into it. They're going to walk right up into it. Master now revealed himself. H went the last one up trying to get something more else. Ooh. Does get the knock on to it. Got to be careful as he's looking up this hillside. Already taking so much damage. The smoke's going to be coming up right back behind him. Blue zone forcing him to move slowly and steadily further and further into Forrest's grip. Whenever issues have come in the direction of Sonics this tournament. It's been H-Win to be the one to claim points their way. He will fall here in the end, and so will Longs. Try to do damage on the northern side, and maybe this is going to allow for Cerberus to try and run up and punish Question Mark towards that northeast. All right, let's check in with the leaderboard then. Cerberus moves up into sixth place after ending day one in, what, 15th or 16th yeah, place? Yeah. A ridiculous uh, kind of comeback, but it's potentially on the way for them there. However, Twisted Minds got a few points on the board in this one. They had themselves, I think, six kills during this game. So the, the teams up at the top, they're trying to extend their leaders now. Question mark joins that 100 point club. Waffles and all the information that you could possibly need. Thank you so much, guys, on the analyst desk as we're going to be moving into our last Miramar of this event. After this, we're going to be moving into Tego and Aaron Guild around everything else. So if Miramar is your map, this is where you got to make something work. Indeed, it is last opportunity to rag up points here on the Sandy Dunes, Dusted Dunes, whatever you want to call them. If you're going to make a move, you've got this knock. Go. This is the time to do so. Smokes are going to come out. You can see Shin going to be playing back behind. Looks like he's going to be trying to cover up, making sure that he can get the most for his teammates. But while this is going on, you can see 17 Gaming starting to leapfrog forward. They're throwing out the smokes. They want to get a nade right into the thick of Twisted Minds. And that is the issue right here is that Twisted Minds cannot fully focus south because here comes a team on the other side. Twisted Minds able to find two as two knocks come in return as well. But Tulux and Perfectix are the only ones left alive trying to clear this out as fast as possible as Perfectix finds the third. Just little goes left on his feet down to low HP as well. He's going to be forced down to heal on up. So for now, it's quiet. But the issue is here comes Tyloo from the south. Tyloo looks into the backside of this one. They want to try to get some more out of it. It's going to be a very desperate position to try to play from right now, just trying to cling into any form 
of life perfectix up in the face of little ghost as a circle is going to continue to go down in the south danoa really can't get too much more out of this they're just throwing whatever they can into it it's just what do you have in your hands and just throw it that direction is even vehicles burning or rolling down the hillside exactly perfect he's trying to run on over trying to get the kill but tingleton stops the fun on the northeast side somehow dill goes is able to stay alive and Tai Lu, they both did so they took their time they were patient they said let chaos commence we will take advantage of it they stay alive with all four up it is going to be a shift in theme in this circle though as high ground advantage for the Sonics, looking into a lot of these dips. Look at this position that they've got to play from. Every peak, though, is going to have a ton of these teams looking back their direction. But you can see DMR is already starting to come out. Bolty's lined in, looking into what's going to be happening. Attention bait here on the other side of Tai Lu. They saw, I think, Theron on five thought that if we just stay here, we're going to be fine with Sonics because Tai Lu had yet to shoot over in that direction. But as soon as they reveal themselves, there's the entirety of Tai Lu shooting in their direction. Here's the risky part for the Sonics. They've got to move down that hillside, and this is going to be the most vulnerable point of their approach. They're running down. Lil Ghost does finally go out. Correxi, though, spots out all these Ooh. members. Tick, though, hits a big nade. That's a knock on the door if I've ever seen one. Now, Fex moving in, trying to use the hillside for some type of cover. Tick's going to be able to spot him out, but look at this. Now we've got the fight. Also, break out with the third time five on the other side. This could not be any better for Sonics. They clear out the West, and in the meantime, the East takes out one another. A clean sweep might just be committed to as they could continue to wrap around that southern side. Backfill third on five, and then take the fight straight to Tai Lu. Now, Danua has still got two players alive. You can never, never count out Soul and Ionix. Right in the thick of it, Shin's going to be moving more aggressively. Let's not forget about Path of Pong as well. We are going to have a knock. It is going to be Tig that gets down one of the members of Tai Lu. That's going to slow down a lot of what they're trying to get happen. And Path of Pong going to go down as well. Closer and closer to that number one position by the second. Serms, he finds the double as he peeks on over. Nice flank around the backside of the shack there. As the client continue to maintain full control. Only long left alive as kill number 11 comes through for the Sonics. Now, Tigleton does fall right before the come comes through, but now Mime over the top finds one. Anonix is a single player left alive. He's shooting. He's been seen. This should be a clean sweep for the Sonics. Anonix has to hunker down inside. He knows the fact that he is highly disadvantaged. Nade's now going to start landing up on top of him. Can he manage to make a miracle happen? He's only Benign. a few points right back behind this one. He can maybe try to keep up with QM, but yet tries to run away. Not going to happen. Sonic's going to pick it up, and they are vibing. I think I think Anonix tried to deny that, but didn't realize he had a jammer pack on, so he didn't take damage in blue. That's going to be the kill coming through for Sonics. Huge game for them to boop them out into the first place spot, but can they keep it? You can see the smiles on their faces. This was a great game, and yet again, a Southside Miramar game that Sonics just had under full control from start to finish. Yeah, it's just been a simple recipe for them, right? They move in, they keep an eye on what's going on, they find the high ground in the southwestern areas, monitor it it's just a very clean process that nobody is really trying to exploit we we talked about the importance of going back and watching what's going on watch the VODs figure out how people are moving we have I feel like what is going to be a two-horse race at this point we'll have four more games though but Tego is a little bit of a wild card, so I'm not mm. sure we're going to see any of these teams be super consistent on it. It could be, you know, any of them winning it. Yeah, I mean, if, if they look, continue to look as excellent as they have done so far, Sonics and Twisted Minds could quite easily be going back and forth, neck and neck. Thank you so much, guys. And I got to say, I'm a bit worried for the Sonics players, man. Those guys are absolutely jacked. They've been spending so much time in the gym, getting all built. Four chicken dinners, that's some fat that they're going to have to burn off. These guys are just racking them up. They're doing it with the recoil of their guns as the burning plane takes to the sky once small percentages Analysts. or not we're making it happen here and then you have a select few paths coming into the city proper and oh my god here if po oh. that would be a huge loss for gen g they've just been given a game both these two teams have just been given a game with a circle right where they want it so, so if either sonics or gen g takes casualties now it would be terrible he is so sneaky tries to get away from it but i don't know how you can really get away from it right gen g is gen here. G, they're making their approach but you can see that they're not necessarily in the best position to be doing so i think that they're just trying to hit and run get out of here, but Shrimzy's position is not going to allow that. Does Sonics want to take this yeah. fight is my new what? question. They're sat in first place. I think Atrian would really want to get out of here and get out of here alive. Yes, there might be points for you to grab, but you have such a good circle in your favor. Taking the fight here, potentially taking casualties and losing the game because of it could be them missing that first place. But Atrian, nothing he can really do right now to get out of it. He's trying to stick around, trying to at least take some players down with him as he makes his way out on the balcony. I like this. Just move full on defense. Everybody on Jinji is going to be cresting up that hillside. If Atrian gets a read that this is not going to go his way. He can try to jump out, get away from this one, but he's going to brave back in. EJ's going to be pushing right up, right into the wall. 
pounds of pounds, just lands on it. And H win says, hell no. This is my compound. This is my circle. We're in first place. We're staying there. Bazooka in hand. H win says no. Three kills. P.O., the one that started the commotion, is the sole survivor trying to make the runoff, trying to go into the fields, trying to become as small as possible. But Sonic's already seen him. He should be down and indeed no. Not just yet. He's gonna stay alive at least for a little while longer. But Sonic's out of there alive. And there you have it in the end. You can see on P.O.'s face shaking his head in frustration. This is not what they wanted. They were not ready for h to be set up top with a Panzerfaust in hand. Smart play navigating a, a pretty weird circle all considered as it is gonna be looks like T5 making an approach yep. over here as well. They see them in the air. Two players already down there and five trying to fly straight down to the 2-2 two -two split. They've read the split. It's not the worst idea. It's just, is here. He's found the one already found the double make that but he is going to go down so sonics off to a great start with the five kills but strimsy has fallen it's still trying to see if they can get some more out of that every single kill that they're picking up though they know is so vital expendables yeah. on the opposite end of that it's like please sir can i have some of this i need just any point that i can conceivably have uh -oh. Uh -oh. Panzer Faust <laughs> on the opposing uh -oh. side we just saw the power of it it's going to be two members walking back to back and this is a nice modification usually when you try to push a compound like this you want to run two together but te also joining the firefight yep joining in from the other side is hot so now peaks on out instantly takes down tingles and nothing you can do against the masuga Close down to 1 HP, goes Hatsawat, but able to sit around the side. So kills have come through for Sonics, but again, taking casualties. Hatsawat will fall as Expendables are now here finding kills of their own. Sonics just want out at this stage. Too explosive, too powerful, but don't forget about Tai Lu, who backfilled into the position exactly. just one moment ago that was going to be where Sonics were held out. Since they made the play to try to defend this, they've kind of lost their territory control that they had such a death grip on a moment ago. Exactly. Very, very smart read by Tai Lu to come in from the southern side, understand what's going on, and instead of trying to full on third party the fight go wait they just gave us a free center compound oh hell yeah we'll take that perfect x from Ooh. twisted minds has had some of his best games on this map in particular it's uh it's not it's not something you want to allow to have happen and Faye is reading that kill feed realizing the fact that this is probably going to be an easy pickup for them i'm going down h win just going to have to play see if maybe he can get the vehicle over here he is going to be able to block that sight line but as we see it's going to be phase pretty split across this and that's one of the reasons that we saw the problem mine did manage to at least get away from one fight line but look where Fex is going to be at and this vehicle just it's not in a good condition any more shots into it just going to spell the death of Sonics James is going to run on forward we've seen him get a little I don't say greedy but eager at times before where it's cost face dearly there should be no way for Mime to be able to get a first aid off in time as I say that nope he will fall down to it and now James single-handedly up against H-Win charging and goose up on one side but H-Win not done he is vibing right now he wants to try to make sure that he secures up for his team nade's gonna go out but phase still has the numbers pick up one more kill before you go right shots now gonna come in opposing side on this one as man it is everybody in the lobby after sonics right now they smell the blood in the water and the sharks are circling and again phase going back to mistakes of the past and how they have four people in the area they can all come in here together but james too eager wants to go for it ends up with him going down unluckily for him and the team but of course still far from over the game from face here as goes up and fix will be able to wrap back to safety but sonics they're going to be happy with their current lead uh, right. but now it's all up to erangel to decide their fate the old the tried the tested erangel is where we will be finishing pgs2 all together three matches left before we'll crown our victors and match from this race is far from over no kills yet for Sonics, and talk about making sure that you make the most out of a salvage game, and it's starting to feel like that might be what's going to be going on. Dano Assault has a beat into what we can see Sonics trying to go. h win just can't find a passing. It's everybody up on this hillside, and if you mind, just making an absolute mess of anything that Sonics is wanting to do. Finally, Sonics getting some breathing room with that knock. Yeah, a little kill come through. Maybe that's going to be more space granted to them. h win does fall, though, with no rest opportunity for them. So one player down, Sonic's forced to leave. Could stick around for much longer. They're going to be running straight into game PC as Hush finds a headshot, connected onto Tinkles, and damage comes through, but a lot of damage in return as well. They've made landfall, they've gotten up here, but what can they make happen? Sonic no! tries to steal it, but the vehicle destroys <laughs> Sonic's, it bounces them out. They get sent off into no man's land, and Sonic's go down. What?
what just happened? The vehicle out of control, falling back down the hill, and Sonic's fall. That's a one-point game for our current first-place team. But in the end, Sonic's still hold on strong. 11 points lead down to Twisted Minds and 13, uh, 14 down to Christ, uh, Christian Mark there. So obviously good. And there's a big gap there. 23 points with just two games to go, James. Oh, what, oh, what is the plane path going to provide? As it does look like we're going to be going over Stolber yet again. North plane path coming down over military bases. I know some eyes can be drawn that direction. Sure can, sure can. We've been down here quite a few times in this tournament already. So if we were to go here once more, it would be no big surprise to anyone. Creeping into this one, see, they've got to be careful. This is a very vertical angle to play from. Low ground, Duck Juice can put in so much no work if he walks out. No Nades clue. coming through. Sonics know that they need to get some points out of this one. They've got Twisted Minds high ground and nipping at their heels on that leaderboard. Duck Juice, are you going to be able to make this play happen? When oh when does he jump up? When oh when does he start shooting? Here comes the first shot. Oh. Fights, one by two. Tanmu fights the third. And just like that in the plane, of an eye. Sonics are torn apart. Twisted Minds, high ground, Sonic's now gone. This is the opportunity. They now look down into that sightlines. They saw it. Navi out. Danawa just clinging to the south. Question mark. Solo, what can you do from here, Twisted Minds? Oh, my God. Two times they fall early, and a third was meant to be. They still have one more game to play. And as you see, as oh. our total here, one point separation here, James, between Sonics and Twisted Minds. Nine points from Twisted Minds down to Christian Mark. 20, 123 here, it's 17 points different off to the first. Yeah. A huge game with the limit, like early eliminations on Sonics, Twisted Minds, and Christian Marks is going to make it. But at this point, the only way that this changes in terms of the PGS points is if Question Mark goes. Otherwise, it's right. going to be 17 games. Sonics, Twisted Minds, and Danawa. That's going to be our four PGC teams yeah. from PGS points. So Christian Mark, they have to have a huge showing in the last game to close this one out. Years of practice, years of preparation has led these players to this very moment. And just one game and one point stands between the two top teams in Sonics and Twisted Minds. They both want to claim it, but with what we've seen so far, during today's matches, nothing is guaranteed at this point. I'm Toby, joined by Matt and Matt, we are in for a hell of a game. And there's no support to be had. If this pops off, Danawa can get involved. It it's going to be Sonics and Gigi bumping into each other right off the get-go. Multiple Sonics members here. You can see they want to secure every single point, and they're going to try to do it early. Gigi, though, has got to play this one carefully. They're going to be wrapping around. Are they going for a firefight? Because it looks like PO wants one. There's Sharks in the water trying to take them down. But right now, Sonics are the ones claiming the points off of it. Sonics just cannot avoid early game confrontations in these games. Good thing for them is that they're the ones currently coming out victorious. Atrian's looking around, trying to find the last player. It's just Tame and left alive. And Sonics, oh my lord, I saw it happening from miles away. They ran into each other, but Sonic stays alive and right over. Oh. So Twisted Minds, we go and Spiro is the first to fall. And with that, Perfectus realizes it's bad here. I've got to go, making his way down the hillside. The circle shifts, though, and it goes straight up into Stolver. But Anonix has just been a beast so far. Shots. It is going to be H when that gets the initial knock into him. Danawa now finding themselves in a shambled position. Twisted Minds finding points in the meantime, but here comes Tink over the top, finds the headshot, connects it, and that's going to be one more down, one more point acquired for our current first place team. But Daku sneaking up back behind this one mm -hmm. could be big. They it looks him. like Sonic's they, they, they read it. They're like, nope, nope, nope. We're not going to let this one happen. While all this is brewing, no question mark. Twisted Minds, they did exchange some shots between each other, but have separated away. Question mark now getting in, and that is going to be Daku gone. We have Sonic's six kills, top of the hillside. Sonic's have battled against the odds. Everything's been pushed at them. Rotation crashes. Snakes sneaking in from behind. But here they are, still with all four up. Six kills and counting. But whenever Sonic's fell early, Twisted Minds fell immediately to follow and now oh, more points being acquired we're closing in on placement points too if there's a chance for twisted minds or for question mark to win this they need sonics down early they need to be able to claim placement points where sonics get them Damn, it's still not quite done yet though spots out correct he goes for the spray and takes a lot of damage going for the peek back around and he is just fighting for his life what's going to be going on with face who have to path into the circle still fill first oh my god question mark you're running right down into the tool and slides and that's going to be it goes down at the hands of the team 
you are trying to take down. Yep, question mark goes down. More points added to the side of Twisted Minds. But look who fed the info across. Look who saw them. Look who shoots them. Strimsy finds Lou. You could only imagine that more commitment is going to be set on the southern side now. They know that two fell early. They know they just got one more. Batulins, oh, Batulins, where are you hiding? Because Sonics are coming for you. This just became a hunt. This is no longer about trying to win the game. This is about we've got the numbers. We know that we're on the leaderboard. We've got the lead for now, and we want to make sure that you have no chance to make anything happen here on Batulins. He has got to be sweating. But Sonics, they've seen him, and they're on the hunt. Damage done down to half HP. Batulins down to one. There is nowhere to go. It is going to be Forrest Scappy that finds it. Sonic secure their first place position as well as so much circle control for this last game. What a way to finish things off. Again, Sonics have had bad game after bad game coming into the final one here. But now the smiles on their faces. They want to bring it home. They know that it's within reach and it is surely a Sonics time to be alive. You got to admit the mental is there for Sonics right now. Nine kills. They know that they needed to make this game happen and they're making it happen in a big, big way. They have to be careful. Force Scappy now starting to move up into the north where Tame is going to be at Blue Zone Nate doing a lot of damage. Mime also sliding down this hillside. He's going to find himself more awkward, but Trimzy connects with the Nate. They're not done yet. They're not done yet at all. They don't want to make it seem like there was a one point lead at one point. They want to claim it all. They want to get all the points and get closer and closer to a potentially record breaking performance here in the best of 18. Spots out the last one going to pick them up. Now it's going to be Forrest trying to fight for more in this one, but the problem with it is it's going to be Tame being a big issue for them. Scappy is going to be playing up to the northern side of this hill. So it is a 4v4v1. Well, let's make that 2v4v1. I mean, it's shooting fish in a barrel at this stage. And to go off the start of this game, we saw it early. Gen G were rotating side by side with them. They clash, they collide. It becomes chaotic in all ways possible. And still, they come out victorious. They've done it three games in a row. All the crazy shenaniganry, they have fallen to it. This time around, though, they say no. They say we're done being pushed around. We will take matters into our own hand. And here here they are, one final time in web one and a 4v3. The Stolber Hillside almost giving them a catastrophe. Now rewarding on the opposite side of the hill. It's going to be a chicken dinner in the highest likelihood. A big nade here could actually turn this one around. Going to land on top of vehicles. And you know Sonic's players trying to dodge out some vehicles right now as they have been mean to them today. They sure have. Mime shoots on over. Olympus spots him in return, though. It's going to take him down, making this a 3v3. Tickleton knows that Munto is just over on the other side. Every piece of utility is being lopped on forward to try and allow them to make space for themselves. Panzerfaust coming into play. Master going to be back behind that one. That's something to keep an eye on. Blue Zone Nade, though, going to be right up on top of Munto. Master Ooh. gets another one. Four is not done. They know they're going up against the champs, but they've got a statement of their own to be made. Shimzy now the last one up. Olympus low on life. 1v2 situation as Sonics suddenly find themselves out of the driver's seat. He's got 4 HP trying to get the heels on up as Shimzy is trying to claim this one for the team. One versus Panzer two. Faust. Master over the top. Has a Panzer Faust in hand. Is this tournament going to finish with a Panzer Faust kill? Or what are we about to see? 1v2 situation. It's just going to be lined in. Four is picking up this last game. What's it going to do for the leaderboard? But the champions feeling it, vibing on it. They bounce back and they picked up a big last game. What a game. What a finish for the Sonics to be able to bring it on home when it matters most. See the joy in their faces and consider what they have been through coming into this one. That is just a wild ride of emotions to have to deal with in a last day. And you have to give it up to the competitors that were fighting up at the top of the leaderboard with them. It has just been an insane tournament. Twisted Minds were just neck and neck with them every single step of the way as this has just been an immaculately cool event. Absolutely insane. Let's hop down to the desk. Let's give these guys the Ladies reward and they gentlemen, deserve. if you're at home or if you're in the Gamers 8 arena, make some noise for your PUBG Global Series 2 champions, Sonics! You may now step onto the main stage and lift the trophy. Gentlemen, 
Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. At the end, wasn't it? A little bit. So, um, you know, first and foremost, just take us through how you guys are feeling in this moment right now. Just try and put it into some words, Trimsy. Uh, there are no words. I mean, I we almost got we we got done with the game and Gunner was already there hugging us. Like I didn't even get to say anything. I was gonna be like, oh my gosh, how is he not blind? And then we just Gunner's already there, so I can't even complain. I'm happy the whole time. I mean, the whole team is happy. I think. I'm... Took a little bit of time to absolutely pop off there towards the end, especially you take absolutely racking up the kills towards the end there. But you know what? What what moment was it? You know, was it when Batulins went down, and then finally, you know, Twisted were kind of eliminated? Did you guys say to each other, "We've got this"? Or you know, what was that moment like? Uh, I think when QM was eliminated, we were kind of getting more hopeful. For me, the moment was uh. I'm driving across a bridge and I see Mime get road killed by EJ and I was like, oh, this is shambles, what's going on? And then we just dominated Gen G, managed to play in. That was the moment I thought, all right, we actually got this. Well, finally, you know, is there anything that you would like to say to friends, family, fans who have been supporting you throughout your entire journey all the way up to this moment as PGS2 champions? Yeah, shout out mom and dad. I know you guys are probably at home watching from the couch. I love you guys so much. And also shout out Intel for making the dream work. <laughs> We would now like to present our Kadia Finals MVP Award. So, Gamers 8 Arena, put your hands together and make some noise. From Sonics, it is your Kadia Finals MVP, Tiggleton! من راح بعزاء المشاهدين والمتابعين في جائزة الخدية للف ام في بي ام في بي الفاينلز من فريق سونيكس Tiggleton! And now we would please like to have our Kadia Finals MVP check brought onto the stage for a grand total of $20,000. Congratulations, Tig. والآن بنقدم شيك المقدم من القدية لام في بي البطولة بجائزة 20,000 دولار للاعب تيجلتون من فريق سونيكس. And finally, we would like to present the lion's share of the PUBG Global Series 2 prize pool. It is 600 thousands dollars congratulations boys i don't want to lay it on too thick but this now is your moment okay the hard work is done and the only thing left to do now is to step onto this stage and lift that trophy for one final time and take your rightful place as pgs2 champions Sonny! What an absolutely incredible two weeks of competition that we've had here at PGS2. Thank you so much to everyone who has taken part. Thank you so much to the talent, the production, and of course, all of the players for all of your hard work. And most of all, thank you so much to all of the fans for watching and supporting all of your favorite teams. The determination and support has been absolutely phenomenal throughout this entire competition. Shrimzy's about to steal the microphone and I'm worried. Hey, none of this would be possible without the Sonic skin, so go buy him. Thank you guys.